what up dynasty is welcome back to hut market guide and i'm going to show you guys how to make coins and you can be a millionaire too there's so many ways how to work the market and i'm not going to show you how with everything is going on right now i think it's the best time to make this video again so let's do this again boys so uh let's talk about base cards because base cards are actually going up in price versus when versus this set so this set is actually out of the set we're going to talk about but these gold players are actually going up in the market so you see gold players are going around a thousand under a thousand because people are wanting to use the sets to do it so i would buy these cards and flip them up into the thousands like what people are doing but I think these cards are definitely gonna. These are people don't know the value of the of the of the these cards. These cards are actually going around a thousand, two thousand k. Uh, so pretty much, if you mark these cards up around two thousand k, these guys who are throwing them up like a little cheap, they're actually losing coins right now from doing this because this like. They're only and people are buying buying these cards off the market, the ones that are under a thousand K. So you're making if you throw them around a thousand to two thousand K, you're making massive coins versus the little amount because in this value you're losing a lot of amounts of coins in here. Here you're actually losing a lot of little bit of amount of coins versus everything. Uh you know, it's not the greatest. You don't like, I don't like losing coins. If I'm going to buy a card for 950, like 950 coins, I'm going to buy this and I'll flip them for a little bit more profit. And people are just seeing that they're selling so fast, like 550, like I can cash that in for more coins. If you know, ah, uh, like, oh my God, oh my God. No, that guy, that car was going for like six. Okay, okay, okay. So we're gonna talk about investing in the collectibles too. So the vet, uh, the market and the vet, uh, collectibles are pretty uh, slim. There's only two on the market of icons. There's no gold collectibles and there's only two icons on the market. So it's like, it's actually pretty not to see and never saw this in a long time that collectibles are so slow like okay thanks i'm actually gonna buy that one uh i'm pretty much watching this market right now boys and it's actually pretty crazy that it's at there's none on the market i bought seven of these uh when People are putting them at 40, 50 K because they're just throwing them up there. There's, so I think, I think is the best time to invest in these collectibles. If you have coins, just put some coins of value. If you get five of these icons or gold collectibles or both, invest in them because I think it's a good chance that these cards, like the, uh, Price range will go up in price because they're so high in demand right now. They're so high in demand that people need these cards and they'll just go up in price. I think there will be more. I don't know how they're going to get more of these cards on the market. There's so many uh, packs. As somebody said, there's so many packs getting pulled and little bit of icons and gold collectibles getting pulled. Gold collectibles, yeah, we know the gold collectibles. You can uh, buy silver the players to make for the untradeable, but these icons are harder to make, are harder to buy. There's like, if you want to go buy icon collectible, you're yeah, there's a three in the market for seventy k. Uh, these are gonna go up in price. These I gold and icons are gonna go up in price. They're not going to stay at 70k. They're going to be 200k. They're going to be higher demand. We might see 500k maybe on icon collectibles and gold collectibles. I'm seeing that soon. So I'm just going to talk about that. A little bit of that. Uh, what about the 
arenas are the arenas going up in price too like is, is all these stuff going up in, it looks like everything's going up in price like are, is arenas really going up price too i'm actually going to see this right now okay wh the what arenas are going for like higher in the market that's in that's crazy you can make what are we doing like you can be so, wow that's in that's crazy arenas are going over wow that is wow okay wow i just have to say wow like are they like going for 3k really 3k almost 3k in the market guys if you have arenas sell them sell arenas you you can cash in hardcore on that okay what about coach okay we know coaches they don't really jerseys we know jerseys are going about about a thousand i think right about a thousand right let's go to nhl i don't like it's nhl on these ones yeah you can sell them for like 650. you can sell them for 650. you can get coins off jerseys uh players are getting get silver player i'm just checking silver players right now what is silver silvers are not you know, useless anyway so you can't really do too much for silvers but we're gonna check this range here let's see what these prices are and there's zero on the market for this wow that's actually pretty nuts there's only one so these every market went up in the price that's actually pretty insane so jerseys you can make coins uh these guys can make coins i sold let's check out what i've been selling too so i've been selling i've got him pretty, pretty cheap so i've been selling the jerseys i'm actually going to start selling my arenas for over a thousand that's actually pretty crazy i'll cash in on that i don't know why your arenas went just skyrocketing uh team building sets you can still make coins off the team building sets a very uh carolina no, I'm not saying uh, Arizona. You can make coins off them. Uh, these people, the bottom low players, they are definitely going higher in the market, like always. Especially now with this new set out, you're gonna see these cards going up in the market. Uh, you just have to pick and choose which one or does go high in the market. Team building sets, you do make coins. I've been crash cashing on these this been since the beginning. I haven't st stopped as I'm seeing players like this. I'm not stopping this. I'm actually still doing this. That's why you see like that. I'm not doing this set. I'm actually just going to cash in on these players when they do go up in price. Uh, that's what I'm doing. We go now go to Calgary. Calgary is the second one. People are really doing the Calgary Flames set. Uh, you can make some crazy coins off these players too. Some of these players do go from three to, I think, 8K in the market. So you do get some cash in too. And you see this guy's going pretty high in the market. I'm not saying you do cash in on these players when the, there's a something like this. And these players are just going to go keep going up in price. So it's going to be harder to do these sets. Uh, some cards do get extinct. Like I think Sam, Sam Besser does have... A high over like he goes from like i think he goes from four to 10k but right now he's i see some threes so you still make some coins off that we'll definitely go to the next team building set and that's in montreal canadians montreal canadians you do make some good coins off them too some we have actually saint shay weber i'm gonna keep i'm gonna see that uh some of these players do go high in the market you can flip anybody's but i'm gonna just check these players that i have i know you can sell some of these cards for high um uh, you just have to be careful what you do players do do uh go high in the market so i'm talking about montreal is another one good one as an example right here and all these cards do go up high in the market you just have to look not a good team building set is smashville nashville predators uh you do make some crazy coins off this especially this guy here i don't know how many on the market for him right now 
you do get some crazy coins. You get, you know, eight, nine K for him. Uh, this guy here too. I never see him in the market as an example. He's a stinked on the market. You get him for 12 K. Uh, I'm talking about, you guys want to make coins, you're, you're in the right spot. Hit that subscribe button. I'm talking about how to work the market. We have Road to Glory. I have a free-to-play team that for my series, I work the market. We grind the game from out. So, you know, if you guys staying at this at the end of this video, then you know what I'm all about. Because, you know, I'm showing you guys how do I work the market. What in the tricks. The next team building set is Pittsburgh Penguins. I say I say Pittsburgh Penguins. We, we're getting close. But I'm not going to try to build this. Uh, Pittsburgh Penguins. Because some of these players do go high on the market. As an example. There's only three on the market here. I'm actually going to buy these cards. This is what I do too. If there's only three on the market. I kind of just buy them. And I scoop up. Because usually it's at like what? 12, like what? 16 hours. Nobody's going to really s look at the card for 16 hours. So then I'll just put this card out for like 5k. Close to 6k. So it's pretty much I'm kind of just trying to control him. Uh, Toronto's could be a good one too. There's some good players in the Leaf Nation here. The Leaf players. Uh, some of these cards do go high in the market. You just have to be as a hit or miss sometimes in Toronto ones. I sold CC for like 4 or 5k, sometimes 3k. Uh, I sold Suspensa sometimes. Depends on how many on the market. Like right now, I can probably flip this card for a lot more. I'm going to see if I can flip them for... 4k usually you can you can depends on how many are on the market you can flip for a good amount of coins and people will buy because they're trying to build the finish building the set so it depends on how many cards are on the market uh, that's what I do that and the last best team building set is Nashville no it's it's Vegas Vegas still is the best team building set out there some of these players do it are a hit or miss. Uh, it depends on what you can do. Some of them are hit or miss. Sometimes you can make some crazy coins off these this team. Sometimes you don't. Uh, I'm talking about like sometimes you can throw cards up and they do sell. He was like the one that everybody was going for. He was the highest one. He's still going pretty high in the market. He's going for like in the 7k to 5k range so this is pretty much what people are doing still so you know this is another thing guys so this is pretty much what i'm showing you guys the team building sets still work we have the prime time market that i work all the time too so let's see if anything sold from i think we sold some jerseys that we we're talking so we sold some jerseys that was, you know, you work the markets the different way. So the prime time markets still work. Prime time markets, it's still a good thing. Like you can get, like you see a guy had selling for 10K. So this guy is going for a good amount of coins. You'll see that. You look at the market and you see, oh, it's one for 5K. You take a look at that. You look at that stuff, I think, because he has, oh, a high, high face, uh, Speed's at 89. So anybody who has fast and speed, they're going to go high in the market. Anything that's low in the market with less speed, they're not going to go high in the market. Phil the Cheeseburger is an example. He has 80 in speed. Uh, okay, so team, the things I look at is this. This is the market I look at. Quinn Hughes. Uh, he's a good one. I flipped him. Bought a couple of his cards. I flipped them 120k. Easy coins. He's still a good guard to do buy. He's pretty much expensive. There's some good cards keep the hold of value. You just have to look at the at them. So it's the one way to do it. Uh, the next one is this synergy here. I use all the time to work the market. 
you have to just have to know the value of these cards. Remember, there are three of these cards. I somebody told me there are three of these cards in the market f floating around. So if you're looking for the the proper synergy, remember the the synergies that have of them and the price range because you can kind of lose lose track of that. Just remember, he's at 40k. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. So like cards like this. I think he's at good amount. Yeah, he's at 90 in speed. So he's going to go pretty high in the market. So work in the market like this. Find cards that you know you can work out work out with. Uh, it's, you know, find, you have to find cards. He's not the greatest to flip. Not a lot of people want him. And you can tell he's like really cheap. Really, really cheap. So he's not really worth working. And the next synergy is pretty much this. This is the other one I use too, once in a while. I, if I get bored of the other two synergies, I look at this. Sometimes you get some good ones here. But yeah, that's the ones I do, guys. But anyway, guys, little tip how to work the market a little bit here and there. Uh, icon collectibles and gold collectibles are m pretty much might be going up in the market because they're less um, on the market. There's only two right now. So, you know, and arenas are going high in the market. So I say sell arenas. Why not? Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoy this, guys. Don't forget to like it. Subscribe to Dancing, guys. And we're the road to 7K, guys. So let's get to 7K. Don't forget, follow me on Twitch. I do live stream there every single day. And I'm out, guys. Peace.